everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this very easy triple pocket card. The inspiration for this actually came from my purse, my own purse, when I was putting my cards away and I just like the way that they all stack and I have done a little wallet like this before and I thought it'd look quite nice on the front of a card. And I think I have similar, I've got like pocket cards and things like that, so whatever I find I'll link up here for you. But it's really, really pretty, like I said, very straightforward, just these three nice sized pockets. The idea for this one is because I'm using the Secret Garden collection by Dovecraft, it's got that garden obviously feel to it and I thought that in the middle pocket you could put a bag or a packet of seeds maybe or something garden related so there is that other pocket there this one here has a gift card on I've just put this special friend card which I always use as a kind of my example but I've just put a couple of glue dots underneath it so I can easily peel that off and then I'll keep it plain until I need to use it but it's really nice to just pop any kind of gift card on there you could have maybe a little coffee shop voucher card on there and then this here is a bookmark and I've popped the words or the word relax on that one there which I thought was really I really wanted to put read and relax but it wouldn't all fit with these particular alphabet stickers that I've got but just the little detail there as well this is all from the same collection you've got happy days on that piece there and then you open it up and it's a normal card so this one says wishing you a day of happiness and it stands up nicely so it's, it's like a gift in a card so it's like an all-in-one which I really like as well so yeah let me show you how to make it Okay, so these are all the pieces that you'll see me use. It's the Secret Garden collection. I've used lots and lots of product already for numerous projects. I absolutely adore this collection and I'll share my Secret Garden uh, playlist up here so you can see all the other things that I've made. But today I'm going to use the bird because I've used the Wellington boot there because I've got the Wellington boot in the paper there and the paper I'm using today is going to have the bird in it. So that's the boots. You don't get that many in a pack, you get six, but I had two packs, so I just put them all into one. I'm using the paper flowers, the ribbon. These are the toppers, these are Dovecraft toppers. You get the gold or the silver with the happy birthday. Then I've got these Dovecraft doilies. I'll mix all my doilies in there, there's some pink ones as well. That's the stamp set, which I know tons of you have. It's a really handy one and it's very, very cheap. So again, all the links to this will be below. That's the charms. And they're lovely, quite heavy metal ones, so they get used again. I've just got this We Are Memory Keepers old um, baker's twine, but I'm using the purple there. This is the Simply Creative Alphabet and Number stickers. They all fall off, but I do keep them all in there and they're easy. They're not that sticky, so they don't obviously ruin. So that's all of the collection and that's the paper pack there. So it's the 8x8 that I'm using today. So I've gone ahead and cut everything down. I've just got one of the birds out there. And then I've got this lovely trim here that I've put on the top of each of my pockets, my pockets, and this is from the Bright Rosa Geometric Edge Builder and it's this one here. So it's a really nice one. I've got some tutorials coming up with the, there's three of these Edge Builder piece, I can't even get my words out, there's three sets of these within the Bright Rosa collection and I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you all different ones so they're really handy. So that's the one there. Okay, so it's working on a 5x7 card base, so I've already got a pre-made card here. If you don't have 5x7 pre-made, you just need a piece of 10x7, and along the 10 inch side you want to score a 5. Okay, so that's all ready to go. And then I've got my piece for the inside, and this is 4 and 3 quarters, and it's by 6 and 3 quarters, and then this on top is 4 and a half by 6 and a half, and I've stamped it. So that's ready to stick inside when I get to that bit. And then on the front, again, all very, very easy. You want a piece of pattern paper that's the exact same size as your card base. So this is a piece of five by seven and it's gonna stick right over the top. So this is easy to adapt to any size card that you want. So this is what I mean, I've got the birds in this one. Then for my three pockets, I have a piece of five, all of them of the same width, so all the width of the card, okay? So that one is five by five. This one is five, sorry, then this one is five by four. And then this one is five by three, and you'll see when they stick, when they lay over the top of each other, you get these pockets like, oh, there we go, get them straight. They look cute, and I love the shine. So what I've used is the, because if you look closely, I've actually kind of paper pieced, so I've die cut it in white, and then I die cut it again in the silver, and then I was able to piece all these pieces in there. So the silver one that I die cut, I then used on this one. Okay, and then the white pieces I put into this one. So I didn't waste anything, but it just shows you the two really nice effects that you can get if you want to kind of fill those pieces back in again. 
So they're all ready to stick down. Then for the bookmark, this is optional. But this is a piece of two by six. This is a piece of one and three quarter by five and seven eighths. And this is a piece of one and a half by five and a quarter. Okay, so, but sorry, five and three quarters. So I've just dropped down there by one eighth of an inch. Now the reason I've done these sizes is because I'm using my tag punch, this is the hunky dory tag punch, because it gives you a really nice finish here. So that's how I got that nice top. Okay, so again, I just wanted to show you lots of ways to use this. I've made a really nice mini album, and so many of you have been using that. You've been, um, or making it, you've shared it on Mix Up Crafters, you've sent me emails and private messages with the little albums that you've been making. So it's a really useful tool, but also you can use it for this, to make bookmarks, and obviously for what it's intended to make tags. And then this here is just what you need to make your little gift card holder. All right, this piece here. And I've got two pieces of pattern paper, exactly the same size, which is two and three quarters by four. I'm going to sandwich them together, okay, just so it looks nice on both sides, you don't have to. And I've got this white piece here which is two and a half by three and three quarters. That's going to stick over there. And then I did use my corner punch here just to round off the edges. Again, you don't have to do that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to stick my inside or insert in there and I'm going to stick the main sheet on the top. Okay, so that's that done. Then start with your largest pocket and you just want to do a thin bead of glue. I'm using wet glue usually or liquid glue. Usually I say to use thin double sided tape but because I'm not popping in, say I'm not doing a mini album, therefore what's going in the pockets is actually very small. So even if your glue oozes over more you're still going to fit these things in the pocket. So if you are putting something larger in then I would say use a thin maybe quarter of an inch double-sided tape, like the thin red tapes that I use here, you know, and that way you know none of the glue is going to go any further than obviously what you've covered. But because I've only got that thin bookmark and things going in here, it doesn't matter if that glue does cover a bit more. Then get your next size down and do the same. So you're just doing the three sides, not the top. And then the last one, Again, this glue here is the Dawn Bibby Very Fine Precision Glue. I will link it below because many of you are asking. Okay, so how quick was that? So now we've got our three pockets. Next, I'm going to sandwich these two pieces for my gift card together and stick that. What I will do is stick these together first and then if you round off the corners because it's easier to do when you stuck both together than do them separately. So I'm just going to... Stick those there, and then I can just go around. There we go, and now that's ready for your gift card to go on. Like I said, add a couple of glue dots, and that will sit in perfectly. So that one's going to go there. Then I've got my bookmark. So the largest piece with the punch is going to sit within that two push it right in and you'll get a really nice finish on the top. Now this one I've done to one and three quarters. Now there isn't a one and three quarter section but what I do is I just pop it in so it gets nice and flat with the the back piece here which you can't see and just make sure you've got equal kind of you know sides there and that way you know that you've got it nice and even. And then that one will sit perfectly over the top but it will have this border either side, which I just thought was nice. I'm using this beautiful, this is the Dovecraft Glimmer card and it's beautiful. And then this one will fit in the one and a half section. So that one can go right in, oh, like so. And again, just do that. You'll get the same nice finish and you'll get that lovely frame. And because of how I cut it in terms of the length, you've got that border around the bottom as well. So now I'm gonna stick those all together. Okay, and that's the bookmark ready, and that will go in the top pocket, like so. So there is the kind of basics done. Now it's all down to decorating, which obviously it needs. So I have these are going to go on the top of the bookmark, and I'm going to do, I might do read on this one maybe, just so they are a little bit different. And yeah, basically I'm just going to copy 
what I've done for this one because I really do like it. So I'm going to leave that one to the side and I'm going to pop the video on high speed and you can watch me put it all together. So that's the finished card. So I've done all the same kind of embellishments as that one. All that's missing is the gift cards for these here. Now you can have multiple of these as well. So if you like to give someone a few gift cards with maybe smaller denominations on, because it's quite popular now to give like coffee shop gift cards and you can put like as little as a few pound on those. So these are nice also maybe for like work colleagues because you could have multiple kind of gift cards on here. But like I said, I think the pack of seeds is a really nice little thing to do. You could also put a little face pack in there, maybe some, um, other kinds of sachets, some tea bags. It's, it's such a nice thing. So if you do send kind of pocket mail, like friend mail and things like that, then I think this would be a nice little thing to do because it does have that card all in one. So there is the inside and I've just finished it with the little bird puffy sticker there. So I think they're really, really cute. I've really enjoyed these. Again, it's a perfect kind of card style to show off this collection because there's so much, you know, that comes with it, which you've seen there. And um, I just absolutely love making it because it is a joy to see it all kind of come together. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this pretty quick tutorial and uh, yeah, you give it a go. So thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.